hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is chini gege if you are new here it's chini please do want to hit the subscribe button down this video and give this video a huge thumbs up okay i'm so sorry i've been missing in action and i don't know how many times i'll get to apologize <laughs> something happened some two weeks ago i asked a question on my instagram page and if you're not following yet please do want to follow chini underscore gege on instagram so you could keep up with all the content i'm dishing to you guys hot hot that page is hot so do want to check it up after this video okay i asked the question and then i got some good replies i'm like ask me anything just anything at all i'm getting to realize that my subscribers love gossip because the way these questions kept flowing i'm like eh, so if i wanted to ask these questions things but it's fine when i got these questions i wanted to film the next day but a lot of things happened and i kept pushing this video to today and i'm so happy i'm getting to film today to be on your screens today okay so are you ready guys let's go Please subscribe, I'm hungry. Without forgetting, guys, I have a bottle of water here. Yeah, I have a bottle of water. But I almost threw up saying that. So I have a bottle of water here. So when the questions are getting wester, when the pressure is getting wester, I'll just be able to sip it before I faint for you guys today. So let's have this question rolling. What is your full name? My full name is Gift Chinagorum Nena Astamoha. What's your birthday? Swapped September. These are like very easy questions. We are getting there. Where are you from? I am from Imo State, Nigeria. And in Imo State, I am from Okigwe. Yes, O K I G W E. I am from Okigwe in Imo State, Nigeria. Okay. Do you believe in karma? No, I don't believe in karma. See, yeah, I feel like karma is your conscience. I keep telling people this thing. I don't know. What's with this? <laughs> Should I talk to my girlfriend? <laughs> I keep telling people these things like when it comes to karma i feel karma is your conscience i feel like karma is that thing that makes you feel makes you know that what you did is wrong and you shouldn't do it again i don't know if i'm communicating so karma basically is just your conscience for me my thinking so i had this discussion with a friend the other day and i'm like do you believe in karma and he said yes that karma is that thing that comes back for you when you have been a very bad person and i'm like are you serious i've always thought that karma has been your conscience maybe i haven't really gone under karma before but still i feel like karma is your conscience and i really want to ask you guys this question because it keeps popping even less than a person will know me as this question. But moving in, yeah. Karma is your conscience for me. And I want to know what karma is for you, okay? Have you ever cried at a film? Yes. The last time I cried at a film was when I saw Moana. Yeah, it's been it's been a minute now. Ah, when did Moana come out? It's been forever. So, I don't know. There was something that happened. Her grandma died or something. And she had to come back in an animal form. A fish, something like that. So... I think that whole scene got me emotional. I cried. Guys. Hey. You need to see me cry. My dad was like, are you okay? <laughs> I don't know why I'm just the only one feeling the whole pain here. Ah, oh, I don't want to cry. I do not want to cry. I'm trying to remember Moana and it's making me tear up. No, I'm not crying. We'll be done. What is your frequent social media platform? I'm giving that to WhatsApp. Yes, that's WhatsApp. I'm giving that to WhatsApp because I think that's where I have most of my business deals. How are you doing today? P.S. You're pretty. Oh, thank you. You're pretty too. For you to know that it, it takes only a pretty person to know another pretty person. It is. So thank you. I'm doing fine today. I'm doing good. I think whenever people ask this question, it's something we should really look into. It's not just the regular, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you for asking me. How are you doing today? Whoever asked this question. Which of your videos put you under pressure? Wow. I think I need to drink water to this question because I'm about to answer something very crazy. Mm. the question is which of your videos put you under pressure well two videos i'm going to be giving that to two videos and the first video is when i made um that video at school where i had to also feature my friends that video was so hard to edit and i needed to put it out as soon as possible i'm going to be linking it like up here and so you go check out the video after this video okay and when i made that video with my friends god a lot of things were really on my mind i needed to edit i needed to look for how to put my friends into one section of the video because if i was going to put them separately it would have been some kind of crazy thingy right that one aside the second one that put me under pressure was the day i went to vote ah 
that video i started that video um i think around 7 something a.m i went to vote voting was so stressful eh i'm going to be linking the video too so i needed to vote and when i was done voting i finished around like past 8 p.m and i needed to put out that video i filmed that day i edited that day i placed everything in order that day and i had to release that video that same day so everything together put me under pressure I think I put that video out around 10, 11 p.m., something of that nature. How many kids do you want to have? <laughs> you people are so funny. Let me tell you. <laughs> I want to have 10 kids. <laughs> Whoever asking this question, do you want to marry me? I don't even understand because this question is meant to be something I'm meant to be discussing with my partner, right? So, what's this question? How many kids do you want to have? I'm going to answer the question. How many kids do I want to have? I want to have like two kids or three. Yes. Is tipping a culture in Nigeria? <laughs> well, tipping is a common practice in Nigeria. Yes, I'm going to give it to that. But it's not necessarily like a deeply ingrained cultural norm. I don't know if I'm making sense, but I think I'm going to end it like that. Tipping is a common culture in Nigeria, but just so you know, it's not like an ingrained norm right on average how long does it take for you to put out a video so i'm going to be giving how long i'm going to be saying three days yes it takes me just three days to put out a video and that's because i'm filming on day one i'm editing part of day two and i'm going to be resting and the remaining part of day two i'm done editing so i'm going to be proofreading on my day three and i'm putting it out putting out the video yes on my day three approximately three days and i'm fine period how do you get your money which money which money <laughs> which money when you were asking this kind of question you ask it to people that you know that they are seeing money if i have to answer this question how do i get my money how do i get my money so i do content creation i manage businesses to concerning content in fact anything that has to do with content i'm there so because i manage businesses for the content so i manage content for businesses anyone i'm just within this whole content creation thingy right so because of that i get my money whenever i'm done with my job so i get paid so that's how i get my little money are you married question pops like three times if not four times and i'm about to answer this question yes i'm married Mm -hmm. married to a guy with five kids i have five kids for the guy <laughs> And the guy is you <laughs> because i don't even know did you forgive me husband i am not married for the records i am not married i do not have a husband please can i rest right now thank you mug bag with mr xavier i have really tried to bring xavier up to this video but he keeps rejecting i don't know i think he's camera shy but i'm going to try to have a mukbang with mr xavier and if this is your question i haven't had a mukbang with mr xavier yet and i'm going to be having a mukbang with mr xavier i know you guys are wondering who mr xavier is mr xavier happens to be that person that person that yes and good <laughs> <laughs> what kind of equipment would you recommend for a newcomer well i think if you want to come into this space what you just basically need is your camera a smartphone can do that a smartphone with good camera if you do not have good camera yet you can start from the camera you have your subscribers will keep adjusting with time okay when you get a good camera they'll adjust to that point when you do not have a good camera yet they also adjust to that point too so camera is fine a tripod and a microphone so that it's be able to amplify at the end of the day by the time you have these three things you're fine and you're good to go chini why so pretty oh i don't know it's god <laughs> anything you're seeing here it's not my making it's god so that's why i'm pretty god made me pretty and yes you're pretty too whoever asked you this question what's the best piece of advice you could give to a newbie well i'm going to be giving you this advice of being consistent just always be consistent once you have found your niche and you want to start just be consistent not when you start one video you will not end it there no you just keep pushing it's not easy right but i know that when you're being consistent you made up your mind to be consistent you'll be fine all right that's it why don't you wear makeup often i don't wear makeup often because i think one of the reasons why i don't wear makeup way <laughs> wear makeup <laughs> okay <laughs> the reason why i don't wear makeup often is because i sort of react to 
um some makeup products and i keep reacting badly it affects my skin secondly i think i invest so much money in my skin products so i always have this whole feeling that when my skin is on fleek i do not really have any need for makeup moving on i think we're almost done with the question this is like the second to the last question what's the secret about making money this question this money ah uh, you guys <laughs> the secret about making money get yourself a pot Tie wrapper. Keep that pot and you've got some money. Anyone asking me this question, do I look like I work in some kind of place that they give money for free? Well, secret about making money. So jokes apart, secret about making money is just basically hard work. Always try to work hard and you'll be fine. Trust me. There's no shortcut to making money. Anyone telling you that there's a shortcut to making money is not telling you the truth. Okay. God first i forgot to say that pardon me god first and your hard work and you're fine okay just work hard in that thing you know how to do best and you make money out of it all right okay the last question i feel so tired already let me drink water the last question this one is going to come like bend the deck <laughs> the last thing that made you cry okay so i'm going to answer this question real quick and i'm going to delay it later so i don't know which one i'm going to do between the both of them so the last thing that made me cry was the day that I wasn't I wasn't feeling so strong. So I feel so weak. Most times I'm sick and it makes me feel very somehow. I don't want to use the word, but for lack of a better word, it makes me feel useless. And I cry because it's not easy. I mean, I want to do something and it's not working. So the last time I cried basically was the time that I just told you guys I wasn't feeling strong. So two weeks ago yes that's the last of my cry so i'm done with my questions and i am so happy if you guys want a part two just let me know in my comment section down this video okay in the meantime i'm going to be leaving you guys and i want you guys to stay pretty stay humble and stay safe too okay take care of yourself mm -hmm.